Ekiti State is a state in southwestern Nigeria, declared a state on the 1st of October 1996, alongside five other states in the country, by the military head of state, General Sani Abacha. This is Ekiti State. During the 2014 governorship election in Ikiti State, Peter Ayodili Fayoshi was again the PDP nominee. He won the election and was declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission as the new governor of Ikiti State. He was inaugurated on the 16th of October 2014. Fayoshi is now the only Nigerian to defeat an incumbent two times. <laughs> I wonder if you get inside your house, your bedroom, nobody will be able to eat there. Very dirty people. Look at your back. Look at your back and clean everything. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Hey, if you guys wonder what kind of characters are these. You start, you start blaming government. You start doing all that. And you go and pack it later. You give you some people to come and eat. If I come back, I see all these things. I'm going to, I'm going to detain you. Despite the fact that the governor is out personally to confiscate the goods of people trading in prohibited areas, people still troop out in large numbers to praise Dr. Fayoche. This goes a long way to demonstrate how much he is loved by the residents of the state. The state has a total population of 2,398,957 with a total land area of 6,353 kilometers. One of the things we saw that was wrong was the state of education. We are number 35 or 34 in Nigeria. We do not represent what our name represents. As a result, I convoked an um, education summit headed by retired justice Ademola Jakai, now the KBC, the Uluwi of Inyekiti, the likes of Ariafe Babalola and uh, people who had excelled in their field of endeavors came and gave us useful hints and support. So to equity, education is key. To life, education is key. You can do so many infrastructure. You can build anything you want to build. Without education, you're wasting your time. Education is the only thing you can give to anybody that will be made to change. You can sell your house. You might choose to give it to charity. But nobody can sell your achievement in education. The projects are quite interesting. They're very good. They're, they're, they're projects to celebrate within available resources. If you go by our resources compared to other states, in times like this, making such uh, impact and difference, it's good. But like the Yoruba man will say, for you to love a child, you must first of all love the mother.
provision of good roads for the people of Ekiti is one of the governor's areas of visible achievement. Notably among them is the Addo Ikere Dual Carriageway, which is about 20 kilometers. Others include the dualization of roads in each local government headquarters of the state, most of which have been completed and others at different stages of completion. I do a carry to a carriageway, about 20 kilometers. I left it almost seven, seven kilometers into a carry township. The same way I left it after my departure, my first exit during the first tenor. I came back to meet the same project, the same place. Today, Ikere Adoikiti is now well dualized into the city center. Well finished, demolitions to give the aesthetics, to put the whole society in what I call urban, proper urban renewal. compare Ikere to Adoikiti. Even when you get to Ikere, you, people think they are already in Adoikiti. This is not a capital. At least this is Ikere. Ikere Ikiti has become a small London. But you, you can see this is a road. This is a two-lane road. This two-lane, we have many car parks. We have a free fear of uh, movement of uh, vehicles. We have uh, so many. Uh, Ikere people are even happy. I'm also happy to school in Ikere because there have been many blessings. I've learned many things. I've learned many, many, many actions from this agricultural governor. He's been, an, he's been a courage man, very, very courageous, very brave, very hilarious. In fact, he's a governor that I'm so blessed. We have 16 local government areas in Nekiti State. And uh, Mr. Governor conceived the vision of dualizing roads at local government headquarters. As it's now, as I speak, it has been completed in Efron local government, it's been completed in Ekiti East local government, it's been completed in Ekiti Southwest local government, it's been completed in Ado local government, it's been completed in Kaya local government, it's been completed in Ikole local government, it's been completed in Ijeo local government, it's been completed in Ise Orun local government, it's been completed in Ingre local government. Not just dualization of the, of the streets, of the roads, then we also have in place street lights, which means there can be economic activities at the local government areas. Easily visible in the state capital is a major flyover bridge constructed by the administration of Governor Fayoshi. This bridge, according to the governor, is about the longest flyover bridge in southwest Nigeria. It is the only state with this kind of development, this kind of flyover. It's not just a flyover. It's about the longest in southwest of Nigeria. We have two layers of asphalt. We have the binder cuts, we have the wearing cuts. And the thickness of the asphalt is of 100 mm, which, which says that that road will stand the test of time. So this is one of the great projects. We appreciate our governor for this good work. Estate kind of well finished with lights in the night. You know the difference is what you make out of your project, not a regular project. We have a road setback, we have the green areas, we have the bus stops, we have everything, the side roads, we have things done properly.
The famous Fajui Park in Aduikiti has also experienced a total renewal thanks to the people's governor who ensured the renovation of the park and transformed it into an attractive site. The ancient Fajui Park totally transformed what it used to be and what it is now, their far cry. And all this takes us to their appreciation by people. They want to see a man that has brought them to proper civilization. An edifice named after the late deputy governor of the state, Mrs. Fumi Layo Olayinka, who died in active service, is also on the lease of Governor Fauci's numerous projects. The center was constructed for the advancement of women development in the state. At the cenotaph of Aduni Olayinka, in whose memory our magnanimous governor, His Excellency, Chief Peter Ayodele built this edifice named after the woman and it's called Aduni Olayinka Women's Center. Aduni Olayinka was the deputy of an opposition person and party, ECN, Dr. Kayo Defiemi. The lady was Dr. Kayo Defiemi's deputy. The lady was buried, was laid to rest on the field. Today, I have put this edifice named after that lady. The APC guy, or the likes of Governor Defiemi, the likes of People like that can never do that to an opposition figure. They would rather pretend the people they, 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 they know it all. Rather, we build that edifice, name it after his deputy. That's statesmanship. That's been statesman. That is showing that it's not all politics. Then it have been leaders of the state at different times. Like I said, what is good is good. A leader is different from a politician leader. Women are important in any nation. You can't push one. So when you train a woman, you train the whole nation. And that women's center, it's named after the past uh, deputy governor that is late. You know, she died while on duty. And uh, this administration named that women's center after her, irrespective of different political backgrounds. And this women's center is meant to train women in for women empowerment to give women opportunities in governance, to train women of integrity, so that women also can partake in nation's development. Initially, where this woman was buried was earmarked as Heroes Park, but later abandoned, where weeds grew all over the place. When Governor Fajay came into office and assumed the leadership of this state, he thought it fit that the woman should be remembered beyond party politics. Even though the woman belonged to the All Progressive Congress Party, Governor Fajay of the People's Democratic Party did this to show his love for the people. This is a man who mourns with the beliefs when it is time and celebrates with people who are happy.
The ancient and dilapidated King's Market, which has been in existence for over 300 years, was also demolished and rebuilt to meet contemporary standard by the administration of Governor Ayodele Fayoshi. The project, when completed, will go a long way in facilitating trading activities of Ekiti people and will drastically boost economic activities in the state. The governor himself was there to display his skills as a butcher. The King's Market is an ancient market of well over 300 years old. And when you see the picture of the demolition of that market, you will see what that market was when we started. The foundation lane and how we got to where we are today. Three floor, three, 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 four stories, three floors. With a lot of space around the market to be finished with state-of-the-art facilities, police station, health center, um, banks, water, and all you can imagine, the cake clams, things that could represent a modern market. The tomato market is also called the king's market. Majority of towns we have in, in Nigeria have king's market. It's very, very important in any town, in any city. That we have also in Ekiti State. And this market has been of old, you know, and is, is an ancient market. It's been dilapidated, not in good condition. But this administration, led by Governor Yodele Fayoshi, has put the markets in the landline. This market now is in the likes of Teji Oshu of Lagos. In fact, I stand to say that it's better off because they have modern infrastructures that those markets don't have. This market will open door for better economic activities in the States. People can come in with the good roads in place also. Then people can come in and go, you know, transact, trade with ease. It's a two-story building with a basement floor. So at the basement, uh, there you have uh, uh, the open stores, shops for the vegetable sellers, the, the, the pepper seller, the, the oil seller, the fish seller, the butcher. All this at the, at the back. <laughs> And then do pala 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 Also demolished by the governor of Ekiti State is the State High Court, which has been in existence for several decades. This building has been transformed into a modern four-story building. The executive governor was magnanimous enough to personally take the Osasu show crew around the project. We came in from the western region with all we inherited. You will see what we, what we bulldozed out of the place to build that high court mm -hmm. about 15 months ago. Mm -hmm. Today the high court is a four story, it's a three, uh, four floors, mm -hmm. which has a penthouse for the CJ. And I'm sure in the southwest, we don't have, we would have probably find that in Abuja.
despite the fact that I'll be leaving in October, I'm still putting a state of the art governance office. Anybody in, in the Southwest in Nigeria would know that I have done the best for this state. And let me tell you, it is not, even if you have to spend 20 years, you still have to go. A governor friend of mine asked me, we are going, you are still building governor's office. Do you have another tenor? No. The people that did the aircraft, that made the aircraft, are far gone. But posterity is still speaking for that. And I name most of these projects after people when they are alive. See, a lot of things are happening in Nigeria. Too many things is down. And it needs a courageous mind like Dr. Peter Afarishi to really achieve this. He's a man of his mind, he's a bold, brilliant and balanced man. He's a very he's a very he's a very courageous person. And he needs somebody of his status to take us to the promised land, to take us to the better position. I'm, I'm of opinion that uh, the entire Nigerians will follow him too. As the people have decided to follow him, every Nigerian should also see reasons why they need to follow this man and give him the support for the 2019 presidential election. Dr. Peter Ayodele Fayoshi is a pilot that is driving, that is moving on. He is the one that is moving on the ship of Ekiti. So we believe him, we trust him. People are intoxicated with these good works he's doing. They are happy with him. And then we have to follow suit. He's our leader. So there is what we call the continuity agenda. The good works that started with Governor Peter Adele Fayushi, we want it to continue. That is why we have Professor Kolako Ulushola. This is our next governor. This is our preferred candidate. We believe in him. We believe in our governor, so we want the good work that uh, Governor Peter Adele Fauci is doing. We want it to continue in Professor Kola Pop in Ishola. Ekiti State, fountain of knowledge, a great state, a transformed state, a developing state, a state with great infrastructures. Thanks for watching this documentary on Ekiti State. I know you will see who you are fighting. Snakes don't bite, bite in that. Make me see who you want to buy. Let me see what I want to buy. Let me see who I want to hold. And let me tell you one thing. They are all criticizing me. I'm not the one contesting. My deputy is contesting to be 